All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is Justin Ready 7, and this is hot off the video suggestions. Little game called Operator, Operator Early Access Gameplay Trailer. Realistic tactical multiplayer something. Matt, multiplayer FPS. All right. Figure hot off the take. Let's see what this thing has to offer. I'm going to straight up hit the play button. We're going to crank the volume, double check our fucking systems, make sure everything's good to go. And then we're going to we're going to see what this has to offer here. Uh I think I watched like the first 10 seconds of it and was like, "Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's 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 dive into this and see what it's got going for it." All right, so right off the rip, Hilo scene uh over the shoulder camera system. Looks like uh, if we're already fucking guns in there, we're expecting contact. So this is probably a hot insert in some fucking mountainous desert region, either in the stand or in Africa or some shit. I'm trying to figure out if this is VR or not. Now, I will say this. The games games do this a lot. They always try to symbolize like the the two tubes that you have. Like it's fucking two separate cones. If you've ever looked through a set of binoculars, it's the same vision. It's it's an overlapping singular fucking circle that has a little bit more width to it. It's not this thing that they have. They always portray in games. Even Arma does it. And Ground Branch, again, is the one game that got night vision probably the most authentic. I understand they probably do this for gameplay purposes, but I'm like, that's not, that's not how it is. I do like the movement. And that's kind of why I'm trying to figure out is this virtual reality or not? Apple ISR platform is a nice touch. Hold on. Was that a hand on the shoulder? Fucking missed it. It I'd say it is. Okay. So I don't know if that's a mechanic. It seems like it is. So, moving on. Okay, we have a fully functioning bolt system. Got it. That's a nice little attention to detail. Okay, so it looks like we have dead zone aiming. I'm going to go ahead and say this is not VR because it's, it's a little too too snappy with the with the aiming i see in the upper left hand corner it looks like we have a, a it looks like an armor system or some shit like that if you can see in the upper left hand corner there that little uh looks like a hit indicator the uh the lower extremity region lower region of the thorax is uh lit up red so i would assume that would indicate armor systems or something something of that nature not sure what Obviously a hot insert. Okay. We had an ISR platform with a uh looks like it was it was painting a target or some sort of targeting system or indicator or something. Um we'll get further in. Little speckles in the night vision, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate what they're going for. This uh, this is supposed to be an early access title. It's uh, indicating it's, it's realistic tactical multiplayer FPS. Um, we'll see exactly what they mean by that. And in time. I'm so glad that if that's how the free look is, it's more like an armor free look. Thank fucking God. I'm so sick of this tight ass free look that they have. Like ready or not's free look and like I don't like it. I like I like the ability to swivel everything. So especially, you know, since I like to have like this peripheral considerations and a lot of movement and uh the ability to really extend that free look uh, makes me happy. Hopefully they have um Damn it, what is that shit that everybody uses that Havoc fucking swears by? 
I'm losing my mind. You're probably going to tell me in the comment section what it is. I'm having a ma massive brain fart right now. And I can't believe I'm, I, it's not clicking, but I'm, it's off the tip of my damn tongue. I do like the uh, site alignment, site picture thing they got going on here as far as the alignment with the optics. Kind of seems like since the, uh, the infantry combat overhaul was kind of putting a little bit more emphasis on that, that maybe games are starting to incorporate that feature. Per se, could have nothing to do with it, but, you know, working the bolt and everything else. Yeah. Okay, I, I like the animations I'm seeing here. The animations seem very um, believable. We'll put it that way. They don't seem they don't seem fucking janky or stiff. It, it, they actually seem fluid. I noticed when he was snapping into his ready positions too. They seemed very fluid, like they had some um, what's the word I'm looking for? Some inertia behind them. Sounds leave a little bit to be desired, but it's probably placeholder. Not quite understanding that whole slingshot reload. He must he must have been on might have been on bolt lock and he said, fuck it, better safe than sorry. Let me fucking let me rack the charging handle one time. Hopefully that's not the standard fucking method of like a, a, a when you go bolt lock and whatnot, but we'll see. We'll see in time when the game comes out as it develops and whatnot. Okay. Not a feature you see in very many games, a little urban proning feature. That's a nice touch. Uh, everyone has to have that fucking candid point shooting mechanic in every fucking game nowadays. I All right. Very curious how vehicles are incorporated in this. I don't I don't I'm not gonna assume that they're player driven. Buddy, you might want to lower that barrel unless you're gonna get that fucking goddamn can chopped up in the fucking rotors. Ooh, white bat audio? Yeah, okay. White bat audio is he does good good fucking work and it's all royalty free, so hats off to white bat. All right. Impressions. Let's put it this way, man. It's early access. Early access games don't have the best track record right now because there's a whole lot of asset flips going on and a lot of things that are in early access that never actually come to fruition or they take fucking eons to come out. I mean, I'll tell you, I like what I see. I like what I see. I like certain attention to detail and it looks good. However, comma, like what is the actual game when it comes out going to be like? What are the systems that are in place? You know, how, how are the game mechanics that uh, are going to keep me engaged? Like, if it's, I mean, not of attention to detail, but is it is it going to be full of enough content where I'm not going to be like, ooh, ah, for an hour, and then be like, oh, this is just like every other fucking tactical game that's in early access in the market. You know, it engages me for a, a small amount of time, and then I'm good, Right. I, I get I get my little bit of my little bit of a fix on what I want. You know, I make an, I make a decent amount of content with what I got, put it together, and then I it pushes out and I'm good. You know, is it going to have, you know, the capabilities of 
randomization of the area? Is there going to be enough, enough objectives? Is there going to be enough variety in what we're doing? Mission sets, all these things. So many questions, not very many answers. Uh, I do like, you know, showing significant gunplay and uh, maybe some examples and slices of what you're going to see. But what is really going to make me stick around is like what I just listed off. Like what mission sets can you accomplish? What things can you do? What are the variety of operations? What are you going to conduct? How are you like, what about the, heli the helo inserts? Okay, so I saw a helo helicopter insertion. Is there going to, so we have a half capability. Is there gaff capability? Is there amphibious capability? Uh, all these other capabilities that left a lot of questions. I will say this, uh, kudos to the animation work. That looks really good. And, you know, a little bit of attention to detail on certain things like that. That intrigues me. So it, well, I will say they lo it looks more polished than some of the early access titles I've delved into. Some of them are under NDA, so I can't talk about them, but this looks a lot better than most of those in regards to what I've seen so far. Um, so I'm hoping that I always have high hopes for games. I always have hopes that they'll do well and that they'll be everything that people want them to be. Not always the case, but I always want to wish a dev studio the best and I hope they can deliver on what they are trying to accomplish especially from player feedback and what the community is looking at. So if you're on par with that, I'm hoping that uh, this is something that's going to be awesome. I know the release date is supposed to be quarter three of 2023, at least for early access. So by then, you know, we'll see what happens. That's right around the corner. So, hey, it's the day before the 4th of July, guys. I want to wish you all a kick-ass fucking 4th if you're having it. However you're choosing to spend it, I hope it's awesome. Uh, Going to do my plugs now. If you want to support the channel, become a YouTube member where we can delve into tactical games and stuff like this in a deeper level. If you want to buy a shirt, I do have a crowd made. The link will be in the description below. If you want to check out those, that product line is going to expand. And I have live streams that I do here on occasion as well. So check those out. Join the jump in the Discord. Follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hearing my thoughts. And I'll see you later.